Wednesday, May 8th, and what everyone was expecting was a meeting between King Charles and his son, Prince Harry. But nothing could be further from the truth. What we are seeing are official statements from, well, from trusted individuals of the Duke of Sussex, ensuring that he does not see his father because he has commitments to attend to and priorities much greater than seeing his son. There you have it. And now pay attention because there is a media outlet claiming that a former royal chauffeur of prisoners of war has made a statement related to the bad treatment that Prince William gave to Kate Middleton every time they rode together in the car. This disgusts me because, well, we are already seeing how on more than one occasion non-British but international media, since the British ones are all bought by the institution of the British crown, have confirmed and, well, even exemplified with very enlightening images, how William gave the same treatment to Kate Middleton that his father gave to Lady Di when in the last years before the divorce was confirmed, the relationship was on its last legs. And in this regard, the former royal chauffeur of prisoners of war says that William often gave Kate a silent treatment in the car, often made her cry because he simply ignored her when she spoke to him, and he wonders where Kate Middleton is. Well, I think we don't need to know much more, but what we are seeing is shocking to me, at least that there is already UK press saying where Kate is and above all, that William's treatment of his wife inside the car, well, is not the best, the most positive within what a marriage should be understood as normal. There's more, there's more, and in line with this I believe that King Charles is adding more, I would say more salt to the wound. Charles Roman III, the headlines read, he names William Colonel of Harry's former regiment just before the visit of his younger son to be a bad father in just two simple steps. One, deny your son the chance to see you, and especially deny your son the chance to see you without Camilla present. And two, make your son, William, not only be above the other, but also name him well with a title, a colonel of the former regiment. And mind you, Harry at a military level, I believe is 20 times better than his brother. Well, look, it says there is a sequence in the appointment of Prince William as colonel, in that of the head of the old regiment, and this happened this Tuesday, May 7th, that is 24 hours ago. It names him Colonel of the Old Regiment, and Buckingham Palace announces it through the Daily Mail. Look at what it says. The timing is very tight in this sequence, so much so that the newspaper headlines with the phrase time is everything, citing the words of an analyst. The announcement of the appointment as Colonel is a passing of the torch. The monarch himself held that position for 31 years when he was Prince of Wales. Initially, this position was going to be given to his son Harry, who was in that regiment until 2014. However, his decision to leave the royal family in 2020 implied resigning from performing official duties and the role of representation of the royal household. William will take over the rank of colonel in a joint ceremony that will take place well with reason and place next week, as Buckingham announced, just when the announcement of that honor is made, the Duke of Sussex was landing on British soil. In other words, it couldn't be worse. Father not only denies seeing his son, he also prevents him from having a private conversation away from Camilla Parker Bowles, who already, well, has shown what it's like to be a real witch with all the letters, and now he appoints his son William, who by the way doesn't do much to stand by the institution, an appointment as colonel of the old regiment, a position that was supposed to be, well, directed at Harry without a doubt. It seems to me a complete humiliation. I think this is shameful. Never before has anything like this been seen as experts in royal households. They already confirm that what Harry has publicly wanted to do is humiliate his father by saying in a statement that has just come out into the light that his father has other priorities and that he really is not part of them, but rather it is Camilla and William, who act as Harry in doing this when he is just landing on British soil seems to me a real, well, a dirty trick. That's what I'm going to say. I think this is very serious. 
The media are echoing as the hour passes with more information. Disappointed again, says King Charles gives Harry a second snub hours after refusing to meet with him. That's how they headline it, and Piers Morgan assures that King Charles would prefer to impale himself with a rusty sword than to reunite with his son. Shameful, really. I believe that children come first, and what we are seeing and what King Charles of England is doing with Harry seems to me to be the most, well, the most despicable. While his son William, not a day goes by that the international media publish something positive about him, it is said that he wants to be the new representative of the Commonwealth and the United Kingdom in a telematic way. In other words, it's already the height of nonsense not working in his life. And another thing that I also find noteworthy is the following time is everything, time is everything. And certainly for King Charles it is everything because he has denied Harry the meeting in a shameful manner. He will speak says Prince Harry in London after the father's snub. I think what he's going to say won't be anything positive. Yesterday he already warned that what he's going to say in the next few hours, the British royal family should prepare themselves, especially both the father and William and Camilla Parker Bowles, because if he knows anything about Kate Middleton's health, the first one to spill the beans will be the Prince and Duke of Sussex himself, and I would even dare to say that what he is going to say will do a lot of harm to the British royal family, but a lot of harm on stratospheric levels. I believe that the memoirs, the book of memoirs await a successful sale, will be the prologue of what is to come. That's what I'm telling you, eh? On the other hand, the British media are beginning to echo that Prince Harry will speak at the Invictus Games service at the Invictus Games in London after the snub by King Charles before meeting with Meghan Markle on her tour of Nigeria. He is not only alone in the UK, but he also has to do everything that the institution does not do. You know that the Invictus Games were primarily created by the British monarchy. There will be no attendee related to institutional representation in order not to see Harry in this one. At this tribute to the Invictus and meanwhile, well, the forums are on fire. Nothing else is talked about other than the shamelessness that William has had with his wife, how it is being published left and right, that he goes to a nightclub, he goes to the pub, they say. The news of Kate's death has been postponed to avoid generating suspicions that it is related to the recent strange and premature death of his close friend and confidant, Thomas Kingston. It is fixed to the point where conspiracy theories are reaching worldwide, they say. I just wonder when his next appearance will be with artificial intelligence, and from here what we can gather is the last thing I told you. That there is a former prisoner of war, chauffeur who says that William often ignored Middleton. And this has been something really serious because, well, it made the Princess of Wales feel less and many times her image has even been linked to Princess Diana Lady Di, to the point where there are others who say that William is going to visit Cornwall this week and that he is going to work to modify in the next few months. How the cancer of the Princess of Wales is being treated? Well, this is the latest. I don't know what you think. As I always say, subscribe to the channel, it's completely free, and we'll see you in the next videos.